Hey bubs, today we're talking about Total Recall. Now, for all of you original fans out there who love the original, don't even bother with uh, watching this one because uh, a lot of you guys will be disappointed. Um, for all of you fans uh, of sci-fi and all that cool stuff, and you'll enjoy it. So we'll kick off with the uh, topic of special effects, uh, old versus new, and what uh, what to expect. So as far as special effects go, the original one, for him to go to different places he had to wear a mask and uh and the way it looked and everything like that was pretty cool pretty awesome for its day and now you flash forward to now instead of wearing a mask he's not wearing a mask anymore he's wearing a uh like a collar um and it digitally projects an image over his face to make it look like somebody else yeah, it was it's cool it's pretty awesome on how it looks but you know as far as the the makeup goes and all that for the original it's definitely awesome on how they did it and what they got now it's like, what are you going to do? Um, it's new. It's new stuff. And uh, it's no longer set on Mars. It's on Earth. And uh, half of the, basically the uh, the privileged people live in London. The underprivileged live in uh, Australia. And to get to, uh, from their job from Australia to uh, London, they have to travel through the Earth. And uh, the, that was a pretty cool concept of how they did that. Um, it's just like a big tunnel system. It's like a basically it's like the subway, and you travel from one side to the next side, and you get there. It's pretty awesome how they did that. Um, for the actresses, uh, you have uh, Kate Beckinsale playing the role that Sharon Stone played. Um, she was rumored to uh, really closely being uh, playing the three-breasted woman, but uh, her husband decided to cast her as another character in the movie. Now the movie definitely benefited from. The beautiful Jessica Biel and the ever hot Kate Beckinsale. Uh, um, Jessica Biel played uh, Colin Farrell's uh, love interest in this movie. Kate Beckinsale played his uh, fake wife. Now, um, as far as Kate Beckinsale goes, if you've seen her in any movies, if you've seen her in Underworld, and if you've seen her in Serendipity or Pearl Harbor or Click, she's a, definitely a beautiful actress, and she's able to play that soft, you know, feminine role. And in Underworld to play that total hard badass. Um, this one she was able to play that badass. And a little feminine edge to it. And um, shows that she's not the conventional uh, actual woman that everybody expects. You know, you know, be looking a certain way. You know, she looks beautiful. She kick her ass. Jessica Biel um, plays uh, Colin Farrell's uh, love interest and uh, person who he has to look for and help. And uh, she, uh, she never kicks her own ass in her own way. You know, if you've seen her in The Blade... Uh, Trinity, you know, you know that, you know, she could have to kick a lot of ass. She was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Stealth, you know, she could hold her own on, on film. Um, as far as the the uh, action goes in this one, the action was pretty awesome. And a lot of cool scenes, but then again, you know, the action piece is different from what it was back in the day. Now, with the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film, I really don't remember that much of it, but there are a lot of key scenes, like in The Three Best Women. Of course, that season the in that and the little little baby coming out of the person's chest, you know the, how that was in the original. A lot of stuff they had in the original did not make it to the uh, the new one, and the the baby coming out of the chest definitely didn't make it out into this one. Um, a lot of things that they did change, you know, but they kept pretty much the core simple effects uh, from the original to this one. And um, for all you diehard Total Recall fans with Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you really really like that movie. And we're reprehensive about seeing this uh, sequel. Don't bother seeing it. I guarantee you will not be happy with it. Or you might be happy, but you'll be disappointed with a lot of stuff that they changed or a lot of things that they didn't have in there. Um, it's understandable. Um, I did not really want to see it. Uh, I, you know, kind of, you know, was in between. I was juggling the decision of whether to see it or not. Finally, we decided to go see it. I saw it. And um, it was just okay. You know, nothing great about it. It was just an okay film. Um, if you really want to go see it, go ahead and pay out the extra money. If you're still kind of iffy about it, um, you can go to Matinee. If you're leaning more towards yes than no. If you're still, if you're on the fence and you're leaning more towards no, wait to video. Wait until demand um, to watch it because you will uh, you will be disappointed. Um, for all you kids out there who have never seen the original title recall, go out there check it out. You'll love it. Um, after that, I recommend seeing the original. Um, you know, just decide for yourself which one was better. You know, a lot of people will say 
that you like the newer one than the original, that's understandable. Uh, definitely take it uh, for what it's worth on the original and you know judge for yourself on what you think uh, you like better. Uh, Colin Farrell, you know, this is his second remake movie. Uh, and if he's not careful, he'll be the remake king. You know, he did the Fright Night. You now he got the Total Recall. You know, one of the movies is going to be coming out with that's going to be a remade movie that he's going to be leaning up on. Um, you know, you know, it's like, you know, it looks like he's making a comeback in Hollywood for all you uh, people out there who love Colin Farrell. I mean, you ladies out there, um, he might be making a comeback. We'll see. Uh, and as far as the movie goes, it was just, and I, I would give it only one thumb if it was out of two thumbs, but that is my opinion. It's... It's not a great, great movie. It's not a horrible, horrible movie. It's just an okay movie. It's not in 3D, so for all the people there who don't like 3D, you know, you can be happy about that. Um, a lot of things that uh, that popped out in that movie that I saw were a lot of scenes that were from different movies, like the uh, Star Wars prequels, the first three. The shots, how they shot the, the uh, Coruscant, the big pullback scene so you can see the city. They had that there, and the way they had the uh, the Federation Army, or the droid army, and that's how they had in the scene in the movie. How that's how they had it lined up. But instead of droid army, it would look. It was actually they were robots, but they looked like stormtroopers the way because they're all white. And um, you sit there and go, okay, that reminds me of that. You kind of like I robot a little bit the way they were staying there and the way they moved. And you sit there, like, okay, I robot. So yes, there's a lot of things in this movie that you sit there and go, oh, that reminds me of this movie. That scene reminds me of this. That's what I was watching when I sat there. And I was like, um. You know, in a world of uh, Hollywood where there's no more original ideas, you know, you can really see in this movie that a lot of ideas are being uh, reused, a lot of scenes are being reused to, to be put into mm -hmm. another movie, you know. And that happens in a lot of movies, but this one really popped out a lot, and it's kind of sad to see that happen in movies. And um, it says a lot. And so, for all you fans out there of Kate Beckinsale or Jessica Biel, you might like this movie a lot. Uh, for all you Colin Farrell fans out there, you'll like it as well. Um... All in all, it was okay. That's it. Nothing nothing more, nothing less. So don't go out there expecting the best movie in the world. Um, as far as blockbuster movies goes, you know, we had three big ones. You had Spider-Man, The Dark Knight Rises, and you had The Avengers. Those guys really killed it out there. And um, this one, you know, you, we thought it might be able to go out there and, uh, you know, crack into a big budget and, and make a lot of money. But no, it, it, didn't, it didn't do that well that I, that I could see in... So, take it for what it's worth to watch it. This Friday, I will be watching uh, The Bourne Legacy. I'm not a big fan of what it's going to be because uh, the first three movies were based on the book by Robert Ludlum. And uh, he passed away and he only did the three books. The other books, based on the Bourne series, was done by different writers. So this movie is going to be based on another book by a different writer, continuing the story of the whole thing. But, you know, as far as it goes... It's not a Robert Ludlum film movie. The hence why Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon did not come back because they felt that they finished off the series perfectly well and there was no need for it to continue on. And um, I could see that, you know, that's how, that's, I could agree with them with that. And um, I will be reviewing uh, that and a few other movies coming up. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.